Well, I was just getting ready to reload up some bullets here. And what did I see? I saw this beautiful little baby sitting right here. Look at this. This is a set of Hornady 150 grain 308 Spire points. Check it out. Now that's why I always screw it up when I'm talking about my my Sierras. I always call them a Spire point and they're actually a Spitzer point. But you want to know the truth? It's the exact same thing. But we want to be correct, right? Now, as you can tell, this is modern ammo, but uh, not from this century, right? We got something, look at this. None so deadly with equal accuracy. But in this beautiful cardboard box, the, the new Hornadies come in a bag in a cardboard box and they, they stay tarnished through pretty good. But uh, as you can see, these have got a little bit of a patina. Is that a problem? No, not really. I guarantee you that when you shoot a deer with one of them, or a buffalo, or an elk, or a moose, or chicken, whatever you choose, okay? Look, I'm an equal opportunist here, okay? I, I ain't gonna judge. But you shoot one of them, they're gonna be like, oh shoot, you hit me with a bullet that has patina on it. Anyway, I don't really care. So I was watching the preacher's day off, and I saw that he had cleaned some of his bullets with this little concoction. Now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna not one up him, but I'm gonna do it just a little bit differently, right? I'll tell you why, okay? I got my, my salt right here. I'm gonna go one level up. We're gonna go with apple cider vinegar. I know right now you're thinking this is top shelf, but wait till your minds get blown with this bad boy. Bam! Look at that, Kiko Man rice vinegar. We add a little bit of that. Just a little dab will do you. Put that in there just like so. Bam, we've got a secret formula. Now you take the ultimate survival product, stir that all together until it's uh, completely dissolved and, and nothing's left. Bam, bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. I don't know if it really matters if you use apple cider vinegar, rice wine vinegar, or distilled white vinegar. I imagine it's all the same. You're probably just trying to take this brass on an acid trip. Well, golly, look at that. It is cleaning as we speak. I think I got some more that need to be cleaned. This has got to be less than five minutes. I'm going to pull these out and then I'm going to put these in. We're going to watch the transformation happen one more time. Here we go. Look at that science. All right, while these ones are bubbling up, let's go back to these, these beauties right here. Let's get these placed in there. Let's see what happens. There's your before. Few more bullets in there than the last go around. Look at that, you can already see them starting to have the tarnish removed. And that's pretty impressive right there. I like that. So I'd say these are neutralized. Now I've got my little uh, powder scale right here. Let's just take five random samples, see where these come out of. We've got 148.9 grains, 149.3 grains, 149.1, 49.2. 149.3. Now, if the batch we just cleaned up, 149, 149.1, 149.5, 149.2, 149.5. Now, these ones are from, from different lot numbers. But what we do see here is we see that uh, doing this, we're not really, it's consistent with what we had off the originals that had the tarnish. So, there you go. You've got your old ones and you've got your old ones that have been freshly cleaned. So I'm going to take uh, these guys, they've been soaking in there longer than they needed to. I'm going to dump them into the solution right here to get rid of the acid. Put them on here and then I got a second cloth, make sure they're dry. And I'm going to put them back in storage until I can load them up for another fun day at the range. Remember, don't put anything in a vise that doesn't belong in a vise.